Welcome back. Dr. Love is the other party being sued in L.A. Lewis's joint defamation suit. His co-defendant being Ninja Man, who mocked the whole notion that he's being sued by the self-proclaimed seven-star general. Well, we get more if I lie. <laughs> the case, however, is no laughing matter for neither L.A. Lewis nor Dr. Love. Lewis and one of his attorneys explicitly confirmed right here on stage the case last week. Ninja Man now, I got to tell the public at hand said L.A. Lewis and Ninja Man, Gason live in Bobby. You understand? It's a, it's a globalistical um, speech you making up. It is troubled when one um, is being smeared in this way. Dr. Love has since declared a countersuit against Lewis for malicious prosecution invasion of privacy and abuse of the judicial process. He joins us right now, right here on stage, Dr. Love. Dr. Love, so good to have you, Thank sir. You. All right, explain who you are for us real quick before we jump into this case. Well, Dr. Love is a, a blogger, an artist. Many people have remembered me from 2009 when I did a, a song with Davil called Now I'm Strong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just a fun person. Oh. I always I give trouble. Okay. You know what I mean? And you're based where? I'm based in New Jersey right now. Mm -hmm. you know. So the get trouble part, because you're all over social media. Right. And that's what you call get trouble, because you're trouble people. Trouble. I always are trouble people. I, always, I, I wouldn't say trouble people. I always talking about the importance of things, like talking about things that people in the business, as artists, as other bloggers, are afraid to talk about. Because a lot, okay. of, a lot of people are afraid of So you are incorrect, politically, that is. This. Right. You know, you know all about no talk. I know all about none. Anything come, find it's right. If you do something wrong, I mean, I say, wouldn't you do something wrong. So I'm a, just a straight talk person, different from what people do in the business. Hence, you're defaming Mr. Lewis by you talking straight. Well, <laughs> I don't even know. Mr. Lewis is, is just funny because stuff that posts on social media on anyone's site, mm. it, it could share by anyone. And so do you believe that you have defamed the LA? No, because the post, it wasn't me who made the post. You know, I saw it on a site. And I thought it was funny, so I share it on my page. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like everyone does, and you know, you take it very seriously. So were you were you served notice? Well, him come and serve me a paper, right? Mm -hmm. And the the paper to me don't make no sense, so I just laugh about it. So he says it's not a laughing matter, you know. What did it say? It was saying that um he sued me for, for defamation of character for picture that posted on Facebook because it's claimed that I posted So picture. this was from him or his Fr From attorney. his attorney. Okay. Right. But was served by him. By him, which uh, L.A. don't supposed to serve a paper. It's supposed to be by the law served the paper. Hmm. But L.A. is the one who served the paper. Okay. So it, it doesn't make any sense at all, you know, the stuff that he's doing. So you are countersuing for one um, malicious prosecution. prosecution right. Um, the second reason is invasion of privacy, privacy, your privacy. Right. And thirdly, abusing the judicial process. process and I right. take it as Jamaican judicial process, right? Correct. So those are the three reasons why you are countersuing. And so what are you seeking in terms of damage? Well, L.A. Lou, <laughs> it is so funny. You don't know what to seek from L.A. because you don't have anything. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what, you know, the thing we can do is, is just give L.A. a warning and say, L.A., you know, I've been this, this So time. you're not really suing him then? Well, well, I'm suing him, but it's like, when I start to think about it more, even talking to my attorney, it's like, what am I really going to sue him for? Because I'm suing for something that they don't have. You know what I mean? He can't pay me if I'm going to sue him for some money. I say, okay, I'm going to sue him for a million dollars then, right? Mm -hmm. He don't have it to pay. Mm -hmm. So where do we go from there? We, go, we, we just stay around and go around the system and it just end up nowhere. So you know how, what I mean? how exactly were you implicated in this case? Well, because the, the picture was shared. I shared the picture on my page, mm. right? And I saw both of them, him and Ninja Man, son Spooky, mm. right? And Ellie have a veil over my face. And I said, why Ellie have a veil over my face? So I start to laugh about it, you know, because I find it was funny. So I said, wait, Ellie get married to Spooky, mm. right? So with me commenting and stuff like that and so forth, don't he take it personal, you know what I mean? which I didn't think you would. So you were doing it in jest? Is yeah, it was a comedic the, commentary? Right, that, that's how I was doing it. You know, as and so, you're known for your commentary? Right. Your, your, com, your I'm comedy? For, right, I'm known for posting stuff, making fun of people, talking about people, you know what I mean, pointing out certain things. So when I saw it, I posted it just like I would talk about anyone else. But did you try? Did he try to get you to apologize before? Yeah, he asked me to apologize on Ninja Man, but 
I have I would never apologize to L.A. Lewis because if I, if I make the picture, then I would. Mm. But there's nothing to apologize for. L.A. Lewis is trying to get me, a ninja man, to come down to his level, which is not going to happen. Because if all the people in the business that L.A. talk about, if this was to sue L.A. just like Adele, mm. what would L.A. do? You know what I mean? So when you turn around and say you want to sue me a ninja man and so forth, then maybe everybody needs to turn around and just sue you at one time and so forth. So you what know? is the malice here uh, in, in his suit against you? Because you, you say malicious prosecution, right? Yeah, because LA, the stuff that he's posting on Facebook, you know, talking about homosexual, and he, he, he's in a lot of group, a lot of WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. and I'm in a lot of group and so forth. Things that he's saying, you know, as I said, things that he's posting and so forth, and then he reached as far as where he said that, he, you know, where he wanted to take it physical. You know what I mean? So, so, so wait a minute. So, the, what that is defaming you, just like he's um, accusing of defam defaming him. Right. But... Malicious prosecution would speak right. to this, the case, that right. it is a malicious, malicious case right. that he's bringing against you. Right. And the second part of that, and another part of that, is that the, he's using the judicial process, the Jamaican judicial process, right. to carry out his, his malice. His, right. Okay, so, so, so I'm asking you, the malice here is that he's taking out a suit against you. Against me, right. That you consider that to be malice? <laughs> I don't even know. Because he's it's, saying it's a defamation. You defame him, yourself, a ninja man, right. in saying that he's been living with... Um, with Spoggy. With Spoggy, yeah. Right. The, that's a ninja's son, gay right. son. Right, that's, that's why he said. But then, when you look into the whole thing, I think LA is just doing all of this for attention. Okay, so right. you think that there can be a, set, a settlement out of court? You well, don't necessarily want to take it to court? Well, if, I'm, actually, to be honest with you, I'm waiting for the court date. You're right. waiting. I'm waiting for the court date from him because based on what he, and the letter and what I've been hearing so and so forth. So are your lawyers, um, have you served notice to the, him yet? The, the letter is supposed lawyers? to serve this week and so forth. This week. Right, everything is in the process. But my lawyer was um, going to get in contact with his lawyer that they could do whatever they need to do and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I, I, don't, I personally I don't think that it's going to reach the court. Mm -hmm. because you don't want it to go to court? Well, it could, I don't think it's going to reach the court. Mm -hmm. L LA is this kind of person. But if you're suing, aren't you? Don't you want to have... Well, if, what, you have to sue for something. What, what are you suing for? An apology? Uh, money? What? Well, you have to sue for something, don't you? <laughs> that's the thing. As far as I know, LA, you have to sue for something. LA don't, have, LA don't have nothing to give me. So the only thing I can say, LA, listen what happened. Start posting on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I could do the same because I don't post on his Facebook anymore and so forth. Just leave my name, leave my music, just leave me alone. It's the same thing Ninja Man is asking and so forth. Mm -hmm. So we can't come to a guy and we up and so forth. It, it, it's like, it would be like a restraining order, but it's not really a restraining order and so forth. You stay in your zone and I stay in my zone. I want to open a window for people that want to talk about something but afraid to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because in the business, a lot of artists know the truth that I talk about, but they're afraid because they don't want to lose fans. You can't lose what you never have. And if it's your fans, them, you're always going to have your fans. Them. But do we really know that some of the things we're talking about in social media are the truth? I mean, they maybe we might hear something, and we hear it so much that we start to believe it. And then we started um, promoting it or sharing it and, and convince ourselves that it's true. And we really don't have the resources to go and check to see that it's really true. Well, I always get I always get my facts done right before I, I just go. So you do your them. own. You have your own do, team of researchers. I have my own team, and I go and find myself. Okay, we research and confirm research things. and say why they wouldn't for this, or why they wouldn't, and then I come and I adjust it and say, okay, this is the situation, and this is what I think should happen. And because so if something is really true, you know, there is no defamation. Well, if it's if you can prove what you say about L.A. Lewis, right, you, he cannot sue you. But proof is. But the, is but L.A. Lewis always like, got find a way to inject himself into things. Enough about L.A. Lewis. Let's right. talk about your ex. Wasn't there a defamation suit in that too? Yeah, there was one, but you, you know You were being sued for defamation. For de right. So it's not the first you're being sued for it's defamation not, not now in Dr. Love. Which is, which is true, but you know what happened? When I look into it, we was in a relationship. It never worked out. She did some things where I didn't like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and, and, and so forth. And I, I, I take it, it was very emotional. And you know, when you trust somebody, and, and they turn around and hurt you as far as to say, well... So you went public? I went public with it because at first I was, I was gearing up for a baby. Mm -hmm. And you know, when she told me she was pregnant and I realized later it was nothing like that. There was no pregnancy ever exist. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what happened? I want to make sure that this don't happen to another 
you know, man, so I make sure I come out and speak my mind of what happened about because, listen, if I'm giving you everything, you, you was never in need of anything at all. So how did, and she, she, she responded with a lawsuit? For defamation? No, she, 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 I think she started to do it, but it just never got. She responded to me with a song. She, she did a song? She did a song, and then I went and I did a song. And then, uh, you know, at that point, my career at that point, I've turned in a different direction. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I said, you know, I've been was in a relationship. She hurt me. I've done some stuff too. So I just move on because at the end of the day, she's not a bad person. We make mistakes in life, but you know, if you don't love a person, tell a person say you don't love them. But don't tell me say you love me at the same time. Then you're with somebody else. You know what I mean? So it, it was a lot of mix up going on right there. So because it was a person that I was engaged to, you know what I mean, to get married. So and you other. were in love with right. her, right? But she was not in love with you. She was well. She told me she was in love with me. So I guess you can say. Me had a fool because I believe this stuff and it was right in front of me. But you know, you give a person the benefit of the doubt and so forth. But because she realized that I have a soft part about me, mm -hmm. so when she did, she just said, Okay, I was pregnant and I was so fool to be paying into it and say, Okay, you so know. So you I mean? were in love and you wanted the baby and right. you wanted to be married to her and it didn't work. Right, and she told me she wanted the same thing. And are good again? No, I don't, I'm not against her. I wish her all the best in her career because she's a good person otherwise than that. But right now, my career is in a different direction than she wants. So, if I have to support her, I support her. I still listen to her music, but otherwise than that, I'm good. My life is good, but I have no problem. What about this Obia thing about you? I, I, you're the Obia man, you say. Uh, well, Obia, that you use Obia. Is, is that true? Yeah, that's correct. You're an Obia man? I have a guard ring. <laughs> Okay. I'm not going to <laughs> No, you have a ring. And you actually go to Obia, man? I go to Obia, man. Do you believe in Obia? I believe in it because uh, my career has not been the same since I got here. You, you went to a, a Obia, man, and, and the Obia, man, changed your career and put it on the right path? Change it. You just, actually achieved something out of I going to Obia, man? I achieve a lot, just like the rest of the artists that go there. What part artists go there? I mean, as a Rasta, man, artist introduced me to Mr. Williams first, you know. So Mr. Williams is over man. Yeah, that's a that's a real over man. Rasta, I go over man. Real Rasta, and it's not a makeup. It's not a, a story. Me, I come. I'm the real. It's a Rasta man. Bring me to the over man first. I never have the money for Pia, but then later on I find the money. <laughs> so you call out these things on your blog? Yeah, that's that's how people know me by because at first when I say I wanted to make it in the industry, it was very hard. And this Rasta man said, "Listen, I got the right person. Him take me there." When it take me there and I hear the price and so forth, I couldn't afford a million dollar at the time with Fred. A million have, dollar? Well, it start from a million and up. Million up for, and up for, for each, what? For each song. For each, each song. It may sound like a gimmick, but it's real. For each, each song and tour, you know, you got your garden where you can travel to different parts of the world. You know what I mean? So each song you come out, you want to, to make it. You have to go to him and pay your dues. If you don't pay your dues, then your career is doomed from that point. Wow. So I'm paying my dues right now, and it's, it's been working great for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I believe in a God, but believe in me. There's even this but out there. All the two work now. How can you be a believer in God and believe at the same time in Obia and actually using Obia? Well, I go there with fire, and when I go there, he tells me, say, listen, your career is going to be in this position by a certain time. The time you tell me, that's the exact time where my career have taken off since then. I'm on stage today. Mm. That's a part of, so you, you know what I mean? You consider being an on stage an achievement? Being on well, the show an well, achievement? Well, I, why I, 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 I take it an achievement? Because a lot of people would like to get this platform. This platform is the platform for everybody, mm. right? And I did not expect to make it here because of this thing with LA thing, but it's a big achievement to be here because a lot of people want to make it here and can't make it here, but I'm lucky to make it here. Yeah, well, everybody can hold on it. Um, right. And what we look for is a story that can bring them on. And, right. and since we don't take money to bring on anyone. Yeah, because I've been hearing that and people. Yes. I'm here. I never pay a dollar. And I'm sitting here. They invite me and I'm here. So yes, all that room as I was here and it was, uh, right. I was used to believing it. Half a lot of money, you know, Winfred. Yes. Yeah, I've got a lot of money. I've had money to people for coming on the show. Yeah, offered money for to come on our stage. Some stage. serious price out then my charge, you know. Well, now you know for yourself that is, this is all made up. It's all made up and money in their pocket, but uh, not in your pocket because there's absolutely. nothing Absolutely. Like there are people out there who are telling you this and collecting money for people to come on our stage. And I want to take the opportunity to say to especially upcoming artists, on stage and Winford Williams have never taken money from anyone to be on this platform ever. 
and will never do so. If you are paying money to anyone who, cons who, who are fronting as, as mediator or, or um, intermediary or whatever they call themselves, you and them are in business, but it has nothing to do with us. Bring us a story, bring us a good story, and you're on. But it's very competitive because it's free. It is always free and will always be free for anyone to get on it. I, really I, 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 I like your team because I've reached out to your team mm -hmm. and I always talk about money and they say, listen to me, money? As soon as I mention money to them, then yeah, okay, I gotta call you back. Mm -hmm. okay. And nobody ever say, okay. In my get, team. In your team. Okay. But other people have reached us 500,000, forget my hands, they say 500,000, and I believe in it. But people, I'm here and I did not pay to get on it. I'm here because they invite me because of but that. I would, like, I would like the, the, I would also suggest to those who want to come on the show to talk to those who have the most money in the business. Right. Because if I was taking money, or Ron was taking money, then why wouldn't we go to the big stars with the whole of our money That's true. to take their money? Anyway, my Reggie. Thank you. Much respect. Thanks for coming and sharing with us yeah. and for being so candid about the whole thing. Uh, and we hope that you can have a settlement out of court with L.A. Lewis. And uh, you can all live in this Jamaica at peace. All right, there you have it right here on stage, Dr. Love, in this segment. Stay with us, still to come right here. It was Spice caught on camera fighting at Walmart in the US? The answer after the break, Spice will be here. We'll be back. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more. Where that came from? Yours. Somebody who's mimicking her look, borrowing it. I don't know still. her. I don't know who the. I don't know who the person. You don't know. Is this, I don't know her any at all. It's I just foot type. Foot type. I saw foot type. Same. Just love get trouble.